Now let's see on the refraction of a plane wavefront at a plane surface. So this is how the refraction is happening. You are able to see once the incident ray is passed, the rays are refracted. This is the air medium, this is another medium. So once if the ray is passed, some rays will get reflected and some rays will get refracted. Once if it passes through the surface, it's called refraction. Let XY be a plane refracting surface separating two media, one and two with the refractive indexes of a muon and mu2. The velocities of light in these two media respectively c1 and c2. Consider a plane wavefront AB incident on the refracting surface at A. PA and QBC are perpendicular drawn to AB at A and B respectively. Hence, they represent the incident rays. N, A, N1 is drawn normal to the surface. The wave fringe and the surface are perpendicular to the plane of the paper. So, according to Huygens principle, each point on the wavefront acts as the source of the secondary wavelet. By the time the secondary wavelet from B reaches C, the secondary wavelet from point A would travel a distance of C2, the medium C2 into T. But T is the time taken by the wavelet to travel the distance BC. So, as indicated, BC is equal to C1 into T and AD is equal to C2 into T. Because B travel, BC is travel in C environment, C1 environment and AD is traveling in C2 environment. So, it is C2 into BC divided by C1. Taking A as center and C2 BC divided by C1 as radius drawn arc in the second medium from C as tangent CD is drawn to this arc the tangent CD not only envelops the wavelet from C and A but also the wavelet between the points A and C therefore CD CD is the refracted plane wavefront and AD is the refracted ray.